Welcome to the continuing video series on prep for a camping trip. So one of the ideas that I've been toying with is tent versus swag. Let's explore this topic in a little bit more detail. The constants of the sleeping bag, the XPED 7M sleeping mat and my pillow. All of that stuff weighs 2.1 kilos. With the tent, I have the Denali Zephyr 2 tent with poles weighs 2.3 kilos. Or I have the swag, which can't remember the brand of it. We'll look it up and I will link it here, which weighs 3.8 kilos. So it comes down to a difference of 1.5 kilos for the swag version over the tent version. Which one's better? So one of the things I was curious in working out was how long it takes to set each of these up. So let's try that. We'll start with the tent, we'll move to the swag. I've obviously missed some important step here, so I'm going to start this timer again. Let's roll. Okay, stop the clock. I won't inflate the air mattress just for the sake of speed, but that's how long it takes to set up the tent, a sleeping bag and air mattress in there. Right now let's try with the swag. I've taken the, um, the air mattress and the sleeping bag out of the tent and I've rolled it into this. This is how it would be on the bike. So when I pull up somewhere, this is what I've got. So let's see how long this takes. And that's it. So that has my sleeping bag and uh, air mat already inside. The setup's pretty quick and pack up. That's the swag packed up, tent. And that's the tent. You've still got the air mattress and the sleeping bag, so add another minute or two for that. Given that we are not camping anywhere in Victoria or half the way across South Australia, I reckon rain will not be a factor. The swag is gonna be the go. Tents are obviously great when it rains because if you've got somewhere to put all of your stuff, you can just load all of your gear into the tent with you or under the little fly part out, outside. Swag, you're kind of, you're a bit stuck there. You'll be nice and dry, but your gear maybe not. I'll take the tarp and use that as a, uh, as a bit of a, a gear cover. I can tie that to the bike and put gear under it if I need to. So that's my theory. Now the other thing too with all of this stuff is with the tent and these bits here, they need a spot on the bike. That's not necessarily a difficult thing on a big bike with a large pannier system, but on a small bike with just the Moscow 40s, it gets a little bit tight. With the swag, these bits roll up into the swag. So there's one thing. Obviously it'll be bigger than what you see here. And I should have a picture of it here on the packed up with all these bits in it, rolled up sitting on the seat of the bike. It's not that big. And then that frees up a whole bunch of other room for uh, things like all my cooking gear. All of your food. So without a sleeping bag and an air mattress in a side pocket, I can put all of this stuff into that space. This is all theory and I have not yet put a whole thing together onto the bike. So in later videos, I will go through how I pack it and you'll see. That's my camping gear, that's my, that's the theory of how I'm gonna camp on this particular trip. It's gonna be a swag and it's gonna be quick and easy.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.